I, I was in the process of digging in my boxes of random aircraft parts for stuff interesting to show on video and I found those. So those are uh, vintage aircraft switches. In fact, they look very vintage but they are not so old. They are made in 1980. The brand is Lab, it is a French brand, it is Labinal. In fact, the brand name, and you can see they are rated 33 amps. So we have an on off plate, we have a switch with a, a lever with a nice uh, knob in uh, anodized aluminium. A very nice uh, clicky action, and also they are new old stock, never installed. So the interesting thing with this device is ca you can completely take them apart and then uh, put them back together. So here on this side we have a cable gland. Apparently it is made for uh, feeding a shielded cable and uh, clamping the shielding uh, uh, braid uh, between these two washers. There is some rubber piece here, other part here of the cable gland, which will give access, in fact, to the terminals. We just two screws. So really nice construction. Here we are. So captive screws here. And the terminal seems to be. Uh, Brass, probably they are a little bit darkened, or maybe they are silver coated actually. Here you have the standoffs which are uh, at the same time screws to take it further apart. But for it first, I need to undo the knob itself, like so. I will try to put all the parts aside. Here you have the front plate with uh, on off uh, label. And it is also how you will attach the button to a cockpit panel, I believe, or a cut out in fact in the panel. Yes, you should have just this uh, part uh, poking out of the panel. And interestingly enough, on the other side, it is done the other way. In case you need uh, the inverse setup between uh, on and off. Okay. Then this done, I can actually remove this cover and it reveals the contents. But it is not all. In this, we have just some uh, insulating uh, cardboard. I can now remove this piece here. And it is not all. So here we can start to see how it works. In fact, we have a spring loaded action. We have these two, this plate with two contacts coming against uh, these uh, terminals. So very nice, tricky noise, but uh, I can go further and I can undo it completely. So in the order we have the standoffs, we have the terminal module itself with big contacts here. So this is made in backlight or something like this. We have springs, we have washers, we have the other side of the contacts, we have spacer in uh, some kind of uh, brown uh, material, other spacer, we have this um, Metal piece is pressing actually against me. It is giving it the structural rigidity. We have this 
euh, springy euh, plate part and we have two spacers here and we have a front piece with it is not all little uh, assembly like this with two rollers and now the front piece with the uh, lever which is riveted and also this uh, 3D pieces which are riveted ok and here are all the parts of the switch in the order of uh, assembly so let's do it I zoom we start with this metal plate I believe it was like so yes could be this but before I have these two spacers here like this Okay, then I have this piece, so it was not exactly the order of assembly by the way, then this, then this, uh, I have to tell you I am sitting here, I did open another one, then uh, we have this, okay, the two washers so really nice quality and it is amazing to see you can take them apart completely I try to do this with a modern switch this should enter like so ok try not to release the thing and have parts flying all over the place the two pieces here little bit of a tightening if I can you need a very uh, wide screwdriver in fact for this thing yeah you can see mine is uh, really not wide enough okay then uh, we test we can test and it seems to be working pretty well Then we have this. Then we have the insulating material on the cover. So this is a little bit tricky because you have to actually put the lever straight, more or less, in order to be able to put the cover. Okay working I can check in fact uh, which one is the on and off so it is this direction just like the other ones okay then we have this then this Smaller screwdriver. Oh, this screw is a little bit okay. Good. Then the aluminium button. Very nice. And there is an aircraft passing over the house Why I am taking apart an aircraft but an coincidence I do not think so Ok We are left with the back piece but before I will test 
the continuity of the thing. Okay, so before I finish putting it back together, I will just check how well it is working. I have 0 0.1 ohms on my probes. And still 0 0.1, so it makes no difference, I can measure. So I have five of them. I did never uh, have a use for them so far. They should look nice in a vintage uh, car, for example. But I do not have one. I wish I had time to browse uh, hundreds of uh, aircraft cockpit photos from the era and uh, try to spot the same switches in use in an aircraft. It is always nice when you find your, your parts in situation. But for now, I guess they will go back in storage for a few more years. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.